everybody. Just a super quick blurb today because my battery's about to die. But I thought I'd show you uh, how this year's compost heater is working out. It was built a little bit differently than last year. I actually put some thought into it, put a little research into it. I've got a lot of coffee grounds in there. I've got a lot of uh, grass clippings in there. And I've recently mixed in a whole bunch of wood chippings from using that little wood chipper. So let's just take a look and compare the temperatures of the regular greenhouse to what's going on inside the compost. Right now the main greenhouse is registering about, what, 12, 13 degrees Celsius, of course, because, you know, Canada and all that jazz. It's not too terribly bad in here. The sun is shining, so it's really quite glary and bright. I'm sure in a couple of hours that'll be reading uh, 25, 30 degrees. But it's the nighttime temperatures that I'm concerned with, which is why I've got the earth machine over here with my handy dandy garden claw sticking in it. So like I said, this is mostly grass clippings, coffee grounds, and some wood chippings. And of course, whatever I cut off from the plants in here. I'll just give this a stir with the garden claw. And we'll take a measurement of its temperature. So we picked up this compost thermometer on sale. It was like five or ten dollars or something like that. You can pick them up at Amazon pretty easy. Giving this a stir, and we'll just slip that in there for now. I know it's working to some degree because when I come out in the mornings, I can see steam coming off of this thing. So, we'll just give that a couple of seconds to register the temperature, and we'll check back on it. Well, there you can see that's pushing about 50 degrees Celsius or near 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So clearly that's warmer in the compost than it is in the rest of the greenhouse. So I think the key difference this year is that I'm turning it using my claw on a pretty regular basis. At least once a day I come in here and give this a crank. Coffee grounds and lawn clippings. So I'm adding air and I'm adding greens and browns that are known to produce heat in compost piles. So far it's working. We'll check back on it in the dead of winter. See what's going on then. Thanks for watching.